This is my second week in my challenge of build muscle and tightening my core and I have seen some progress already but it is not all about the exercise that make it possible. There are two things that we should have present if we would see some progress and it's consistency and effort. Today is Monday and it's my second week for my challenge. I forgot to record my workout but I'm going to show you. So I start with press machine and I do superset with a conventional RDLs. So let's go do this. So I do a hypertrophy training. Three sets. I raise my weight and lower my reps and I do this exercise in three sets I work with uh, 45 pounds in each side plus 45 plus 45 and like this if you're set <laughs> conventional RDLs I did three sets and I do 20, 20 reps with each set and conventional RDLs is this one so we get away and we go down and up right down and up i do with 55 pounds so that were that were my my first two exercise then i jump to i do lunges to the back with uh hip uh hip raise in the step so i go up in the step and i go back and in this way I work in a higher range of motion, working my hamstrings and my glutes better. So I think that this exercise is really awesome to work our legs. I think it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, we work our hamstrings of our legs. And I do, uh, I do a superset with that and I do these raises here and this work your glutes and the outer part of your glutes and it's very good exercise to do. I like to wear super sets so uh, I think it's better because you don't rest, you muscle work harder, you burn fat and I, you get strengthening and you last longer working out so all right. My last, my last exercise is narrow squat. I need a little of this to go over, to be a little higher, and then I'm going to use 35 pounds. Huh? Running back and forth, I can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so here, I use a little of this to go up, and we are going to do uh, uh, narrow squat narrow squat is that you put your legs closer you wait here and you're gonna go down right there we go it's just a good exercise for your legs but for your upper body too oh, all right all right in a second chin i like to work like a slow first right we go slow and i do a little uh like kick back 30 minutes like this and then i go one minute fast it works harder you burn fat faster let's go going to do slow kick back five minutes right okay, so we are going to start doing some abs i do my five minutes cardio i'm so tired all right let's go oh my gosh i need rest all right one two and let's go how we can build consistency in our life it's quite simple we need to create a routine and habit to make it possible also if we don't put effort and keep motivated we don't want to see any progress we need to be focused in our goals and create a plan to pursue our goals. To build consistency, we have 
to create a routine and do this over and over to create a habit. Once we create a habit to work out, it's going to be easy to track our progress. So first, you have to get the motivation to build a better version of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my gosh my legs are killing me <sighs> <laughs> you have to take a note what are the changes that you want to do in your life if you want gain weight lost weight you want to get tall gain strengthening gain endurance whatever is your reason you have to keep in mind to get your motivation to start your path then you have to create a routine the perfect routine that is for you how you create a routine you first have to try different exercises and see what is worthy for you what exercise you think are help you to get into your goals and once you choose those exercises then you create a routine and also you have to create like a, a schedule a plan like a week plan workout so you can track your progress i suggest you choose five exercises for group of muscle and you try these exercises for a month and if you feel comfortable with these exercises, then keep at least three months. Now we are going to do uh, with let's open wide. And here we go. Go down. Alright, with that we are working on inner part of our legs. I'm going to do hip. I'm going to wear my let it out so I put my weight here and I'm going to raise my hip to the Now, if you don't have time to work out daily, if you can you work out twice a week, then I suggest that you instead to work group of muscles, you do full body workout. When you're going to work out your whole body. So that way you can exercise your body and you can try to get closer to your goals. If you have time to go to the gym three times or so five days a week, then I suggest that you split your workout working in each muscle. If you create a routine and you go to this routine for at least uh, one month and three months, you can track your progress. You can do this better every time. You can set up goals. goals. Are you capable to do more reps? Are you capable to do heavier? You can set goals every week. That way you can push yourself to do better. So this is how I split my workouts. I work five days a week in which I work two days legs, two days glutes, and one day core and upper body. This way and this method worked for me for a year, so I keep this 
because I sour souls. Now, if you don't have time to work out five days, do not worry about it. You can create your own routine and your own schedule that is worthy for you and it's going to help you reach your goals. We can also work two or three days a week, but in these cases, you should work instead to work for muscle, you should work full body workout. So you can work your whole body and have some results. Hi guys, we are at the gym. Today is Wednesday. Um, we have a store coming on tomorrow. It's uh, Helen Hurricane. So I thought that the gym is going to be uh, empty, but it's kind of busy. And I get so wet before I come because it was uh, start raining and I had to get my things from outside. And there we go. I thought I don't want to come to the gym today because it started raining really hard and I thought the store was already here. But it was just a short storm. Tomorrow, I think I cannot come to the gym, so I'm going to work out at home, I think. We will see. So today is 10 minutes, 10 minutes of cardio because I always do 10 minutes on Wednesdays. I split my workout like this. I do legs Monday and then I do glutes on Tuesday. I then pass on Wednesday. I work my core and my upper body and then I pass to legs and then glutes. I can switch between but always I try to give some space to rest my legs. So usually my space is between weekends at high today, two days for uh, reds and between my legs and glutes and the other legs and glutes i have my upper body and core so i split also and even some rest now when i work legs when i work legs i work exercise that are focusing more on my quads when i work glutes i work exercise that are more focusing on my glutes and hamstring right so in that way i can work in a group of muscle specific and i can get results easy because i'm focusing the exercise in that in those muscles with the challenge that i'm doing right now i modify my routine and now i'm doing cardio and abs at the end of my workouts and why I decide to do this? Because my goal is to gain muscle in my legs, but also I want tightening my core. And for tightening my core, I need to burn some calories, but also I, knew I need to endure my abs. So I try to do a little routine at the end of my workouts for work my muscles in my core, but also I try to do some cardio for burn the extra calories. Remember, if we want to burn calories, we have to keep in mind that we need lower the intake of calories so that way we can burn the calories of fat that we have and that going to assure that we are going to gain lean muscle and also we are going to tighten it our core and build muscle in our core i have been seeing results doing cardio on my ass after workouts i it's a little harder because at the end of my workouts i already exhausted but one thing that i really suggest to you guys if you want to do cardio for burn fat calories for loss of weight do cardio after workout and why 
because you need your energy to focus in in the exercises to build muscle in your body more when you wear less when you wear less you need all your energy to do those exercises because usually you are lifting heavy if you do cardio before all your potential energy to hit those muscles is going to span once you going to do the exercises you are exhausted and your performance don't gonna be the same so instead you can save your energy to do your harder exercises for your legs focusing in lift heavy or do reps or do supersets whatever is your method focusing on that once you finish your workout then you go to do cardio and you're going to spend all those extra calories and fat from your body because your body already spent the energy that gets from the food to work out so now it don't have energy so it tried to build energy we where the body build energy once we don't have any any energy in the body the body gets energy from the fat right the fat that we accumulate that is the purpose of the find the body create energy but once we are eating carbs and calories every day and the body get energy every day that extra calorie accumulates in our body as fat and then we never use it a smart way to use that fat is to cardio after workout to endure my workout in my core i try to do this daily and i have seen some results i'm planning to keep this in my workout to see a six months how it, it's going to change because already my my uh, core is tightening i saw the muscles there uh, i need more time of course but i saw the difference and i'm really happy with the results and if we try methods and we are happy with the results why we change it's because some people sometimes they have the same workout and they don't change the exercise because it's something that is working for them but that it doesn't work is if you don't have challenge and goals in your workout then your body is going to get custom and then you you don't going to see result you're going to stay there so for your results we need do a combination or methods like supersets like hypertrophy training or until failure to try to do more reps all these methods help us to get good resource to push ourselves to do better an easy way to to last way is not use like one do one hour of cardio i i think that this is kind of hard to sustain every day uh, and I feel that it's easier if you, for example, instead to do one hour of cardio, do a cardio that it can be 10, 15 minutes, but do intense cardio with change in their speed. Do cardio in when you go faster and then you go slow so you leave your body go harder and then give a little break to rest and then again go harder and then get a little break to rest and this change assure that your body will faster more fat from your body that one hour of cardio I suggest also involve cardio exercises with weight exercises so you are going to work this together so you push your body to work harder and it's going to burn fat from your body. Try to do supersets. Supersets is also a, a good way to endure your workout and you're going to burn fat from your body. So there are different ways to do 
burn fat from your body but also work your muscles and i think that you should be focused more in this that one hour of cardio that is kind of hard is boring it is not enjoyable so after you have your perfect schedule choose some exercises that are focusing on your goals routines and exercise you do not sure that we are going to lose fat there is also other things that are important as diet so it's really important that you focus on lower your calories from your diet also it's pretty important hate some supplements so i'm trying to do some protein before i go to the gym get some water and i bought this protein my last protein just um uh, finished um you know i don't take too much supplements but i was taking creatine i stopped the creatine i'm going to take creatine again after i finish this challenge for this challenge I not taking creatine, I just taking protein. It had 5.5 grains of BCAA, 24 grains of protein. I planning to do glutes today. Kind of like see this a little mess today because everybody is worried about who that that is coming. I don't know what is the name. I think it's Helen, not sure. Anyway, um I need to go to the grocery store too. To to buy some things that we need in case that the hurricane comes and we lost power or we can now get out from the house. So, uh, I don't know if it's going to mess my workout for tomorrow or Thursday because usually when it's a hurricane here, nobody can get out from the house. So I need to, I track in that storm. We will see what happened, but it looks like I cannot work out uh, tomorrow or Thursday. On Thursday will be uh, let's work out. So I'm going to see uh, if I work at home or something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mm. For now, cheers. <laughs> mm. So good. I need to get in my little girl. She's outside. I record her this morning. She was with like three squares around. It was so funny. Hey baby, you're getting it's too hot. Too hot, too hot. Oh. I'm ready for Halloween. Right here. So I had this cast. Oh. I already decorated the house kind of like up <laughs> since September. I get this blanket with all the doggies there with different customs it's so pretty and then i get also these pumpkins here they are really really cute uh, the decoration there with the pillars the gnomes so I, I get this one and look at this one i love this one so much oh you cannot miss this this is so cool this one and you put some candies there is put candies on the place i love them All right. i have i have some halloween decoration in my in my amazon storefront you can find them in the link in the description below to this video also you can find them in the main page of youtube i know that we are sure get vitamins and protein and carbs and all this from our diet but it's important also that you help with some extra things like for example vitamins like for example collagen is really important for your skin no use exercise is important it's your whole body also vitamin d vitamin d is super important for an athlete because it's focusing in the bones so you need healthy and strong bones to endure any exercise or physical activity so it's pretty important that you take vitamin d omega-3 omega-3 is also something that we need 
to take and we get omega-3 from the fish but we don't eat fish every day so it is good to take a little supplement of omega-3 now i don't know I, i'm going to say something about omega-3 because i bought a bottle of 1000 milligram another 500 and when i take the 1000 it get me sick it felt like it was i feel sick i guess it was too much for my body it, when i get the 500 it, it, it was easier for my body so you have checked that too and assure that you are getting the enough and not a lot amount of this because also can affect your body another supplement that is pretty important is protein i know that we can get protein for source animal like chicken red meat uh, turkey eggs and also plant-based protein but we can also get uh protein shakes like whey protein shakes that is going to help us in assure that we get this intake of protein and i suggest if you are going to get these proteins get them when you don't have enough intake of protein if you have enough intake of protein that you eat in your three meals with your big piece of protein you don't need supplements as protein you don't need that because it's going to be hard to your liver and to your kidneys so you better be careful about that but if you don't don't ensure that you are eating enough protein then whey protein shades are good to assure that you are getting enough intake of protein creatine is also important and amino acids but creatine and amino acids we get those supplements from the food like i told before chicken ground beef eggs fish all these give us all these supplements but if you don't have a like a, you are not eating properly then it's important that you take extra supplements as whey protein shades or creatine when you're going to take creatine or amino acids like supplements you have to be careful some person can be perfect to you taking these supplements another person can really be a nightmare like it can get sick so you have to be really careful and see the side effects of these supplements protein and amino acids are taken for we have a better performance right for we have a good workout we don't get tired we have a lot of energy and we can have a, the best workout ever you have to be careful taking these supplements because they have side effects that can affect your health as we know protein shades can help and support our health but some people may have the follow side effects gas bloating diarrhea or cramps if you are lactose intolerant some whey protein shades may upset your stomach and damage the kidneys and liver and also may cause osteoporosis if you don't have enough intake of protein by natural sources then you can take these whey protein shades don't overconsume this because it's going to hurt your body when i say don't overconsume it's like if you take one protein shake a day it's okay don't going to take two three don't going to take everything i'm going to take more than one cup because that is over consumption and over consumption can increase the risk of conditions as cardiovascular disease blood vessel disorders liver and kidney issues and also scissors so we have really careful to not over consume of protein shades or oh, of protein too like if you eat a lot of protein even for natural sources it's going to affect your liver and kidney
Now, we are going to talk about amino acids. An amino acid ensure that your body get enough energy, help at use primary fuel sources. Our body is going to have a lot of energy. Reduce fatigue, sparse muscles, and improves recovery. So, amino acids is a good way to help our body when we are doing any physical activity like workout. Increased essential amino acids intake is effective in reversing muscle catabolism, promoting muscle anabolism, and restoring immunological functions. And we can get these amino acids from natural sources as fish, eggs, and nuts. But if you are taking amino acids as a supplement, you have to be careful with the side effects. It can cause gastrointestinal distress, such as bloating, abdominal pain, diarrhea, increased risk of gout, and also create imbalance on your kidneys. So I suggest that try to eat as healthy as possible. Try to get all these essential nutrients, all these protein, amino acids from natural sources like fish, chicken, eggs, nuts, plant-based protein. All this is going to help us to get the nutrients that we need to build muscle, to get lean muscle, to burn fat. That is important. But I told you, if you can not get those nutrients from natural sources, because you don't eat three times a day, because you just cook one time during the day, because you are working and you cannot cook your meals, whatever reason is, then it is important that you take these supplements, right? But don't overconsume these supplements because it's going to hurt your body. You need to have this clearly. With an adequate plan workout and diet, you can assure you are going to get closer to your goals, you are going to gain muscle, you are going to burn fat and get the physique dream that you are looking for. Dedication and consistency is a key to build a great path in your fitness journey. So I, I hope guys that you pay attention with all the points that I'm talking today because this is going to help you get closer to your fitness goals. It's going to help you approach to the physique that you always have dreamed and also it's going to help you get in better in better shape and have a better health i'm going to tell you guys thank you for all of you that have already subscribed to my channel if you don't subscribe subscribe and all of you for check my other platforms as instagram tiktok facebook and my channels on youtube thank you guys also for check my amazon amazon store front where i have my favorite purchase and you can find that in the link or in the description below this video so 